Hi everyone, welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to focus on a chemistry topic which is looking at how to interpret and to write half equations for chemical reactions. So a half equation is an equation that shows us what's happening to only one element in a chemical reaction. It doesn't include all the elements, just one. It tells us whether that element is being oxidised, losing electrons, or reduced and gaining electrons. So we need to remember what oxidation and reduction mean, and we do that using the acronym OIL RIG. So this is to help you remember what oxidation and reduction are. It stands for oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain of electrons. This is different to the oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen. This is just looking at in terms of electrons. Let's look at a couple of examples. So if we start with sodium, we've got Na forms Na plus and E minus. So this E minus in the equation represents an electron. E for electron and minus because electrons have a negative charge. So if you see plus E minus, that means an electron. This half equation tells us that a sodium atom loses one electron. Now because oxidation is loss of electrons, that means sodium is being oxidised, it's losing an electron. We could also start with an ion instead of an atom, so if we start with a sodium ion, plus E minus makes Na. That half equation tells us that a sodium ion gains one electron. Now because reduction is gain of electrons, we could say that Na plus is being reduced. So whereas Na in the first equation was being oxidised, Na plus is being reduced. And in the last equation, S plus 2E minus makes S2 minus. We're starting with a sulphur atom, and it's gaining two electrons this time. So it doesn't just have to be one. Because it's gaining electrons, we would say S is being reduced, because reduction is gain of electrons. Let's have a look at a couple of practice questions, the sort of questions you could be asked in an exam. Part one is to describe what is happening in each half equation, just like I did on the previous slide. Remember, oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So for part A, we've got Li makes Li plus plus E minus. And for part B, Ca2 plus plus 2E minus makes Ca. For the second type of question, you might be asked to complete the half equation. They will leave a gap in front of the electrons and you have to write down how many electrons you think are needed. So P plus a certain number of E minus makes P3 minus. How many E minus would we need? And for part B, 2O2 minus, that's two ions, produces an O2 molecule and a certain number of E minus. Part three is to just write a half equation completely from scratch to show, firstly, the oxidation of magnesium atoms into ions, so Mg turning into Mg2 plus. And part B, reduction of a chlorine molecule, which is Cl2, that's two atoms, into two chloride ions. Pause the video and give these questions a go. The half equation in 1A tells us that a lithium atom loses one electron to form an ion, so we could say that Li is being oxidised. And for part B, a calcium ion gains two electrons to form an atom, so we could say Ca2 plus is being reduced. For 2A, we need three electrons to balance that half equation to form a P3 minus ion. And for part B, because we've got two two minus ions, we will produce four electrons. For part 3A, our half equation would be Mg makes Mg2 plus plus 2E minus. And for part B, Cl2 plus 2E minus makes 2Cl minus. We need two electrons because we've got two atoms both becoming a one negative. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has been helpful please consider subscribing or sharing the channel with your friends so it can help them too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!